2.3e, reciprocals. A reciprocal is simply a flipped or inverted fraction. When we take reciprocals and multiply them together, they will multiply to one. Let's say we had the fraction four-fifths. Its reciprocal would be five-fourths. See how it has been inverted. The five that was in the denominator became the numerator, and the four that was in the numerator became the denominator. Now, when I reduce, four goes into four once, and five goes into five once, I get one over one, which equals one. Let's look at this in the examples below. In example one, it says find the reciprocal of six-fifths. This means I take the numerator and place it in the denominator, and the denominator and place it in the numerator. And I have my reciprocal, which is five-sixths. Remember, if you all, if you want to double check if you have the right one, on the side, do a little scratch work, in which we have six-fifths times five-sixths. After reducing, we get one. So we know we have the correct reciprocal. Let's look at example two. Example two asks us to find the reciprocal of negative eight. As you can see, this doesn't look like a fraction, so it seems confusing on how we would find the reciprocal. You need to remember that all whole numbers can be placed over one. This means that the reciprocal would be one over negative eight. Now, on that same note, if you had a reciprocal of one-sixth, its reciprocal would seem like it would be six over one. But this is not exactly the case, because if you have six over one, remember that is not all the way reduced, and the answer is actually six. This means if you find a reciprocal that has a one in the denominator, you need to simplify it and have it written as just the whole number. So the reciprocal of one-sixth is actually six. Remember, when finding reciprocals, you simply flip the fraction over or invert it, and if you would like to double check, you can always see if the two reciprocals multiply to equal one.